my name is Danny. I'm an art instructor, and you're tuned into the Able Arts Work Virtual Learning Channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint some chickadees. For this activity, you'll need watercolors, a pen, watercolor paper, a paintbrush, and a cup of water. Chickadees are the Massachusetts state bird. They are small and round and characterized as having some black markings on their head. One of the first Thanksgiving celebrations we had in the United States was in Plymouth, Massachusetts, so I thought that this would work as a cute little drawing activity. So grab your materials and we can get started. So since we saw chickadees are very small and round, we're going to take our watercolors and we're going to use those as the base shape for our birds. I'm going to take my watercolors Feel free to use any color that you like. I'm going to keep them to some earthy tones as the ones that I showed in the example. So I'm just dipping my paintbrush into the water and into my paint. And I'm going to make a circle on my page. I want to leave enough room on my little piece of paper to maybe put three birds. So I'm going to make sure that I'm not taking up the whole page with one circle. I will go for another earthy color next, just dipping my paintbrush in the water, then into my paint, putting another circle down on my page. Again, Dipping my paintbrush in the water, then into my paint. Painting a circle with the chickadee's little round body. So let's just wait for our paint to dry before we draw on top of it. Once the paint has dried, we're going to take our pen I'm going to start adding some features to turn these little circles into chickadees. So chickadees' bodies are mostly round, so we don't have to add too much extending out from their body here, but I'm going to add another lump on the top corner of each circle for their head. So I'm making an arc. doesn't have to be that large. Chickadees have little black eyes. Tiny beak that's also black. They have a black marking on top of their head and going under their chin that extends from their beak to the back of their head here. So I'm pulling a line up, coloring it in black. Then I'm starting from the beak again, going down below their chin, coloring it in black. Next, I'm going to add a wing. I'm going to start near their eye, pulling a line down, and I want the wing to come to a point, so I am pulling a line down here, and I'm going to make three arcs across the top of the wing, and separate the feathers with some lines. So we can see a little bit more detail here. And I'm going to add a tail coming backwards, add a angular line coming down towards the body again, pulling that point back into the body. You can distinguish feathers with a couple lines here. A little bit as well. Lastly, chickadees have very short legs, so I'm just adding two little lines here, their little feet. And that's all there is to it. So let's start again with our next circle here. 
I'm going to have this bird facing in the other direction. So I'm going to add that arc for their head again, starting on the top right this time. Giving them a tiny beak, a little black eye, and a marking that extends from their beak to the back of their head, and a marking from their beak down below their chin, coloring those sections in black. We're going to add the wing. Some arcs here. And our feathers to give a little bit more detail. Our tail, which is going to extend up. It's very straight and thin. Pulling one line down back to the body. Distinguishing a couple feathers here. Finishing their little feet. Awesome. One more time here. This time I'm going to have this bird facing off to the left, just like the first one. Adding that arc for a head. Little eye, tiny beak, black markings on top of the head, black marking under the chin, a wing, some arcs, some lines to distinguish the feathers. Tail going straight back, line coming down back towards the body, more lines distinguishing the feathers. Lastly, the little feet. Very cute. I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today. I hope you picked some colors that you liked and that you enjoyed transforming these little circles into tiny chickadees. Check out the other videos on our channel about art, language, and music.